Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I recorded this comment and I'll show it to you. It's the tour. Huge shout out to um, Oh, Austin and these people. I've gotten a tour over there. I hope you enjoyed um, the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Get out of the weather. Hmm. Okay. So keep following me and just kind of give you a grab the <laughs> So in here we have some employee bathrooms and <laughs> time clock and stuff like that. And then this is our, our service area <laughs> where they do service work. Just be careful where you're walking. <laughs> so this is where he's actually cleaning the paint off an undercarriage <laughs> of a car that drove through that paint that made the news the other day. Yeah. Did you see that big tote that, that broke by the interstate? Well, this yeah. was the first car through all the paint, so that's oh where all this yellow paint is coming oh, from. Okay. We're cleaning the undercarriage of that car right now. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that here is uh, a couple other jobs that we're working on over here. <laughs> so this truck was a rollover that we're putting all new parts on. Hmm. Yep, so we're putting a new roof on that and hood and fenders and doors. <laughs> And then we'll uh, show you detail here. So this is where this is where the cars go when we're done with them in the body shop to get all cleaned up. So get them all shined up and stuff again. Right now we're using it kind of for storage because we're so busy we don't have a place to put all of our stuff. <laughs> so yeah. I'll show you the I'll show you the body you shop back here. Hey, that's the grass over there. So then this is our, our paint mixing room. So we mix all of our own paints in house. Oh. And then this is our our paint room. Our, our painter Mark just got done painting his truck. And so now we're um, getting ready to bring this one out so we can bring another paint job in there. So when he's painting, we close those doors and we turn the vent on and, and everything uh, works in there to the paint. <laughs> and then these are all the jobs we've got going on in the collision center part of it right now. And then this is our frame machine. And then he's straightening the, the back part of the frame on that car so it can come down and get replaced. <laughs> Looks like a couple of the other guys are still at lunch, so kind of quiet <laughs> back here. But, and then this is our first area here where for all the, this is all the parts for all the jobs that we have in here are coming in. So we bring all the parts in here, we go through them and bring them to all the jobs that we have. So this is the collision center part of it. So I'll show you how it's done So this is our staging area, our mm. fenced-in compound, where all the cars, when they first come in, mm. this is where they all sit, so we can write estimates on them, the insurance companies can come look at them, and then some of them we fix, and then some of them get, end up getting totaled mm. out and, and hauled to auctions. But So mm. when they first come in, this is typically where they're going to come and sit <laughs> before they come into the shop. So yeah. this is kind of the first step in the process right here. Mm. Wow. Do you, any, do you have any questions? Mike, um, how many, like... How many cars do you get um, every each day? It depends. We in the in the body shop part of it, we fix about seventy cars a month, so huh. almost three cars a day. We fix and, and leave the shop. Yep. And then the the service department it kind of depends, but they probably fix about ten cars a week there. Hmm. So in total, we fix close to a hundred cars a month here, probably. Oh, wow. Yeah. So lots of cars. Yep. So they're coming and going all the time, and some jobs, as you can see, are are really big jobs, some are small jobs, so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that car is damaged. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of them are damaged, that's for sure. 
other questions that you have for them, Kieran? Like, um, they're about um, Special Olympics. Special Olympics. Yep. I'm involved in it. Oh, are you? Yeah. Cool. I do um, swimming, track, soccer, bowling, and basketball. No kidding, huh? You want to tell him that you got your first and second medals? Like, um, I got it in first place in um, swimming. Yeah. Like, um, freestyle, 50 meter. And I got it in um, second place in backstroke. Wow. And I got it in um, fourth place in the runway. Mm. So I and suppose you got to put in a lot of practice, a lot of hard work for that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's cool. So is that once a year then, the Special Olympics? Like, no, okay. hey, they're going to start back up in, the end, actually, the end of this month, the last Thursday of this month. Okay. They'll start back up and it'll start soccer. Oh. So it's all year round. It is. Okay. So the only the they take a month off, like okay. in the summer, sure. and then all, and then another month and a half in the winter. But other than that, it's they're very busy. Wow. Very busy. Yeah. And then they go to state, and they go to Minot, Bismarck, to competitions. Sure. And they come back with medals. Yeah. Very cool. How does the ice stage farm see four hundred meter dash? Really. Yeah, wow. I do like one lap route the check and field. It's a lot of work, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. My daughter runs track too, and she does the 800, which is two laps around. That's one of her races. <laughs> I know that's a lot of work. Yeah. One time I beat in two people, like, I was like, I'm gone. Yeah? And they're like, wait. I was like, walking behind me, and like, like a tiny box, way but far away. That's the trick though when you're running, you never look back. Keep looking straight ahead. That's that's how you, when you're fast like that, that's what you want to do is you want to keep looking forward and don't look back because it slows you down when you look back. Um, all my feet was running. Yeah. And at the same time, I was looking back and I looked at the front mm -hmm. and I heard people said uh, my name. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I just keep on running. Yeah. That's fun when people cheer for you, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming over today. Do you yeah. have any other questions about anything? I got one question for you. Yeah. What are those? Huh? What are those? T-shoes? <laughs> yeah, I wear, uh, I wear tennis shoes. I don't wear uh, boots like a lot of these guys. They wear boots, but they hurt my feet because I work. I work so many hours, and I'm in the front, and then I'm in the back, and then I'm in the front, and then I'm in the back. So I do a lot of walking, <laughs> and so I uh, I like to have I like to have actually good running shoes. These are Brooks, is the name of these, <laughs> and that's usually what I buy is is uh, good shoes. Otherwise, I have a Nike. Yeah, for giving us a tour. Yes, you bet. Thanks for coming. Let me yeah. give you one of my cards up front. <laughs> You come in for estimates. This is you drive in this door and then you get your estimates and then you drive out the other door. Thank you. I'll give you one of my cards here. There you are. Well, thanks for coming today. Yeah. Take, okay. You want to thank John too? Thank you. Bye-bye, yeah. oh, thank you. Bye. See you guys. Bye-bye, yes. Yeah.